So hi guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to install CR Droid by my 11x Redmi K40 the Poco F3. So the prerequisites are you need to be on MIUI and you have to remove your MI account, you have to remove your Google accounts, and then remove your password and security. Once all of them are done, uh, you need to be having you need to be having these three files in your internal storage, which is the ROM zip and the firmware part of your phone and the TWRP image and you should also have TWRP pre-installed so now let's reboot into TWRP by clicking on reboot and keep on pressing the power up button so once your recovery has booted head into wipe advanced wipe select your dalvik card cache and then swipe to wipe once that is done go to home install and select your firmware part which is the recommended one and then swipe to install once your firmware is installed go to go home go to install and then select your CR droid and author in zip and then swipe to confirm flash so once your rom is flashed go back go to advanced go to install recovery ram disk scroll down Select your TWRP image and then swipe to install. Once that is done, we can go to home. Once your recovery has been flashed, go to reboot and then click on recovery. So well, once your recovery has booted, we can head into wipe, format data and then type in yes. This will result in wiping out all your data. Now once your format data is completed, we can click on reboot system. And then it says no was installed, it's fine, it's just an error, we can just reboot. Now, well the ROM is booted, uh, let me just do the initial setup. So here is it, our ROM is booted. Now let's put it to 120Hz. And well, now the ROM is not in here, 120Hz and the ROM is pretty smooth and we have Dolby Atmos pre-installed, that's nice and let's check out the camera app. And well, in videos we have uh, 4K, 480p, 720p and 1080p, I can change the FPS too. And in 4K, oh my god, we have 120 FPS, that's pretty nice. And in photos we have normal 48MP and then in scan, we can scan documents and pictures for text and we can convert them to PDF I guess. Under status bar, we have status bar icons. We can select which should say and which should go. For example, let me turn off the airplane. The airplane will disappear and the alarm will disappear. Or let me show it for Wi Fi. So the Wi Fi icon has disappeared. Let me just make the video more clear. So well that's good and we have lock style, clock style right or left or hidden, anything is fine. We have clocks and date. We have network traffic monitors and we can enable or disable the 4G icons and we have Wi-Fi standard, we can display the signal. We can display a custom logo where we can that's the CR droid and battery style we have different types that's nice we have the percentage hidden inside or many other options and we have brightness control we have quick pull down and let's go to quick settings and We have the animations, we have data usage and it displays the data usage summary in a quick settings folder and we have the power menu shortcut, here and we have clear all notification buttons, 
let's go to lock screen and when we have media cover art displace the media cover art when available and then we have the battery info so you can be seeing the ampere and the time left to your phone to be charged fully on the AOD and we have fingerprint authentication vibration and ripple effect and we have power menu allowing the power menu on secure lock screen and then let's go to navigation we have showing arrows key arrow keys while typing we have this long press kill the app so i guess when we long press the app will close and then double tap these are options which you can, which you can enable let's go to buttons click to partial screenshot and then power menu we can enable or disable these we also have advanced restart now we can disable the unwanted they'll disappear that's pretty nice and we have end call we can if we press the button the call ends and wake device answer call control playback and some options we have user user interference, the ambient display. That's nothing but the always on display. We can use edge lightning, always show time and info. And this is how the ambient display looks like. Now let's head to the notifications. We have retaker display the Heads up notification with slim and less NSA version of uh, redesigned ticker. We have noisy notifications, four stop buttons, and others. We have under sound, we have pulse that's gonna show the uh, that's gonna show the graph of your volume of your sound or the music you're playing. We have volume steps, we have adaptive playback. Under miscellaneous, we have uh, game space that's nice and we have unlock higher FPS in games and unlimited photos for Google and Netflix spoof. We also have parallel space. We also have smart charging. That's pretty nice. We have the pocket addition. It blocks the screen and uh, button input when the device is in the pocket. And we have weather settings. We can enable them. So here we are. Let us do the key pencil tests. And here we have the pretty pretty high score and we have got a single core of 2000, 1291 and a multi core of 3433 that's pretty good. And now let's run the CPU throttling test. So that's a stable of 90% and that's good and you've also reached 100 sometimes and it's stable and it doesn't fall down. So that's pretty good. So if this video helped you on how to install CR Droid 9.2, please like, share and subscribe. Bye.